Hi everyone. So today we're going to sequence some more pictures from our story, Jack and the Beanstalk, and write some more sentences about the last part of the story. You all did an amazing job yesterday. I cannot believe how much work you've done. You're doing fantastic. So put as much effort into this as you did to yesterday's, and again, your story will be fantastic. So let's have a look at, at the pictures from Jack and the Beanstalk. So we've got five pictures today and I want you to and pause the video and just talk to your grown-ups or to yourself about what order they would go in. So pause the video, off you go. So we've got, I want to move mum up there, angry mum there. So we've got Jack with his harp and his hen because he came running out of the castle with the beans, uh, down the beanstalk. And then we've got Jack running down the beanstalk and the giant going after him. Then we've got mum chopping the beanstalk with the axe. And then the giant falling down because the beanstalk had broken. And then Jack and mum lived happily ever after. Well done if you said that to your grown up and you got them in the right order. So here we have our pictures again. And just like yesterday, we're going to write a sentence for each picture. Remember, capital letters at the beginning of the sentence, full stop at the end, finger spaces in between words. Try and Fred talk your words as best as you can. It doesn't matter if you don't spell it correctly, as long as you Fred talk it using your sounds. Okay, so I've put some words again here. So we've got giant, har, hen, and beanstalk, because those are key words that you will use in today's, well, in these two pictures. All right, so look at the picture. What is happening here with Jack, okay? So Jack stole the golden harp and golden hen, okay? Or the hen that lays golden eggs, I should say, shouldn't I? It wasn't a golden hen. Or Jack crept out of the castle with the golden harp and hen. And the giant came flying after him saying, E, fi, fo, fum. I'm sure you can think of some really good sentences to go with these pictures. So pause the video and write your sentences for these pictures. Off you go. Let's have a look at our next pictures then. So we've got here we've got mum, quite a furious, angry face, hasn't she there, ready to chop down with her axe the beanstalk and the giant flying off the beanstalk as it comes, as it's chopped down. So our words today are for these two pictures. And we've got axe. Giant, beanstalk, and fell. So again, you can use those spellings there to help you. But remember, if you're not sure of any other spellings, you Fred taught them, you sound them out yourself, like we do in school. But remember, capital letter at the beginning of your sentence, being spaces in between words, full stop at the end, sound out your words, and remember, beautiful handwriting. Off you go, write your sentences for these two pictures. Then we've got our final picture, and I've put a sentence here, but you might want to change it if you want to. And they all lived happily ever after. So you can either use that sentence if you want, you can write your own, or you can just leave it because I am so amazed at all the writing you have done for Jack and the Beanstalk. You've done a fantastic. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. Please send today's work on Tapestry because like I say, it does make me smile and I do look forward to seeing your work. Take care, everybody.